Some Floridians tell us they're not looking back as they head north on I-95 in search of a new home state. Some say they're looking for a better quality of life, and others say it's a more affordable one. So it was being flooded by people from elsewhere, and I thought that the vibe was a little bit different than it had been in the past. And um, I just wanted something different for our family. New Census Bureau data shows as New Yorkers and Californians move in, among other out-of-staters, a number of Floridians are moving out. You traded in Florida for where? Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. According to Business Insider, U.S. Census Bureau numbers show between the years 2021 and 2022, nearly 739,000 people moved in and nearly 490,000 residents moved out. Essentially double our square footage. That includes young Florida families. Mom worked as a bartender, dad a special effects designer. In search of family, better finances, and desired schools. And that's really what forced our hand to sell our house in Florida and pack up. The pattern all starts here in Florida. If you make $200,000 or less, our area is challenging. It's challenging to live in our area and it sounds absolutely bananas coming out of my mouth, but that puts you in an extremely different income bracket to the states just north of us or within a short drive of us. So what do realtors just north and west of us say in North Carolina? How many Floridians are you talking to? More so now than I'd say three or four years ago. South Carolina. Seem to be a, a hot spot for Floridians. Uh, what I hear mostly is um, just quality of life issues. To the Georgia Carolina line. At closing, I mean, all she talked about was just insurance. Into Georgia. It's always like a wow moment of, hey, this house in Florida would be $200,000 more just for a little starter home. Even to Alabama. I have heard that they're sad about the idea of not being able to see the beach, but because of the affordability, they've had to work such longer hours. The hope is that they're going to move here have a better life. Realtors also mentioned those who may have dipped their toes in the Florida water. Some of them moved to Florida, kind of uh, looking for something different, maybe from up north, and have come sort of halfway back up. We call those halfway backers. <laughs> well, the dust continues to settle. It's a big move if you've dedicated decades of your life to living somewhere to uproot. What, what would you tell other Floridians? It was a really positive experience, to be honest with you. A little scary at first, you know, 40 years in, in Florida. The grass isn't always greener. We recently spoke to Leanne McLaren, who went to the Carolinas and back. Really, really think about it before you do it, because I kind of did it on a whim. And now buying my house back would be double. I'm Tori Dunn and reporting.